Welcome back to Mythic Ocean. Not a lot of progress was made last time due to some exciting talks. So let's just make up for that today. Let's just go and make as much progress as I can. We'll start off with Alethia and have our first talk with her. And at least it's nice that I don't have to talk to anyone. I don't have to swim around the large mid seas and talk to all the whales and sharks and whatnot. We can just go straight in. Yeah, also nice to know now that the the other two achievements for talking to things are in Lutra's place, which means I don't have to like worry about talking to anyone else. I've probably seen everything pretty much. I thought I might have like missed something. And man, I'm very much looking forward to the asshole run, I gotta say. I just, I want to see what happens when you're just blowing everyone off and just, like, not being nice to anyone, not supporting anyone, even though it won't actually have any, like, it probably won't have much effect on the endings and, like, what happens just on the way there. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious about that. Uh, and I guess I'll suck up to her as well. Like, I think I want to do that. And be like, Alethia, you're so cool. Alright, there we go. And I'm not gonna insult her. I'm still piecing them together. I want to know more about the one who made it. And let's just go for all of these... That change, does that change her polarity? And if so, I wonder in what way. Maybe that is the more... Uh, oh god, I forgot to check the... Hold on, one second. They were called Obsession and Mindfulness for Alethia. I wonder if that's more of an obsessive answer, talking to her about her research and being like, Oh, how does it work? Because I'm, I'm like indulging her scientific side, perhaps. So maybe it's not actually a good thing to do that. Also, I, I do want to check. What if you... Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. One second. Turns out I could just teleport there. Good. Uh, what if you don't ask her the questions? Because maybe that's what causes her to be like, Oh, man, science is the best. So if I just say... This one... And then, how'd you build this place? But then I don't... I'll ask this question and then just say, Thanks for telling me. Huh. Okay, one more time. That's impressive. Sure, tell me more. That's incredible. No, it's the same regardless, I guess. So, yeah. Hmm. Not sure if that has any kind of polarity change, but oh well, I, I'm i gonna go for it anyway, because I'm pretty sure I can still get her to be the right polarity. I mean, I did in my first playthrough, so it should be fine. And there we go. And now I guess uh, let's get out of here and just teleport to her again, just so it saves here now that I've done that, so I don't need to do those again in case we need to load now. And then we'll do, uh, research, sure. Yeah, signals. I can help. I know all three of them. Man, but Amar probably isn't that, like... Hmm. Can I do some other fable with Amar before I have to tell Amar to go help in the lab? Because I'm kind of worried that Amar is not there yet. But we'll see. And yeah, maybe me agreeing with Amar so much at the start was not a good thing, because, I don't know, it doesn't, like, show any like meter or dislike meter or any power change, but maybe that did change Amar's polarity a little bit. I don't know, we'll see, I suppose. None of them have bothered to show up. Sure, no problem. 
And then the big pod. Lutra lives there. Alright, so that's that. And now... What is all this, I wonder? Um... Yeah, what do I want to do first? Uh, let's check in with Keter and Esty, what they're doing. Oh, right, that's just asking if they want to help out Alethia, which I kind of don't want to do. Wait. Oh, up there, hiding, right? I have to go, and then just teleport to them quickly, just so I can save it here and not have to swim all the way again. Oh, no! Wait, now you're in here? Okay. Strange. Hey, tell me more about this. Let's do something else, but at least they told you that. I'm sure they wouldn't, if you had more dislike. Uh, yeah, Alethia. And yeah. This is the same, this, I, we've tested all this, this is gonna be dislike, but this one doesn't do anything. Oh no, it does, okay, I thought you had to like, convince them one more step. Maybe that's because I've, like, changed their minds? So I guess if we go to Amar now, yeah, maybe I should just test this whole thing out. Maybe I should make a, uh, a backup again, before I send Amar off, just to confirm that Wait, what were you saying there, Amar? Oh, it's tough when your friends don't get along. Huh. Have I read this before? I just want everyone in the forest to hit it off. Sometimes you gotta help someone see things from a new point of view. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do to you, Amar. But yeah, I, I should make a backup before I send Amar off. Just to make sure, because I, I don't think I've gone far enough to change Amar's mind where they won't, like, fall asleep and stuff. So let me make a backup quick and we'll just check it out and see what happens. Alright, there we go. So I guess we'll just go for this. Alethia, you'd be a good candidate. Wouldn't it be fun to learn about the lab? I'm sure Alethia will show you the ropes. Alethia's lab is not my kind of place. Yeah, and then just this one. Think about the stories. Alright. So, I mean, that's the same. No like meter or anything. So, we'll just have to see. I'm not too hopeful about this. And if this doesn't work, I kind of have to, like, replay the entire game up until this point. Which wouldn't be too bad. I could just do that between episodes. Uh, where does she go? Oh, right, she said Lutra. Oh, I did exactly the same thing last time, for fuck's sake. Now we need to do Lutra's part first, before I'll even know if Amar works or not. God damn it. And yeah, I should talk to Alethia first. And yeah, here's the thing. Do I want Alethia and Lutra to know each other? Like, I probably do, especially for Alethia. But the question is, do I want Lutra to talk to Alethia himself, itself? Because that kind of makes Lutra, like, go out there and, you know, do things more and be more adventurous, maybe. And yeah, Device. She's a friend. She's not here to hurt anyone. I do trust her. I think... Won't this be a negative thing? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Hmm. If I say this one... Considers, and then... Maybe I should talk to the device using one instead. Agreement, thankfulness. So that's good for Lutra. Because I guess the other one will have a polarity change. Which I don't think is a polarity change I want, right? Oh, but there's a polarity change anyway. But that might be a good one. Stays in pod until device using one is gone. Uh, what happened? 
told me he was terrified. You should have asked first. Hmm. But then that doesn't give me, like, like meter, I don't think. Yeah. So this might not be the best change, but it might be a good one for Lutra. And, like, surely I can get Alethea to be... Uh, oh god, what was it again? Uh, mindful? In other ways? Like, I, I shouldn't need that, but maybe, maybe that's not true? I guess we'll complete this series of things just to confirm, like... Amar helping in the lab, and this part, we might as well keep going for now. Alright, so let's do lab work. Oh! Nice! Very nicely! Better than I'd hoped, even! The first task was to compare the samples. How did I get that to happen? Is that just based on, like... Uh... What, what choices have I even done for Amar to make Amar, like... Less revelrous. Is that that's not even a word, right? Less inclined to revelry. And I forgot what the other polarity was called, but oh well. Responsibility, I think. I guess that's that's only been like because I've talked Amar into a. Uh, I guess it's both Keternesti and Lutra, but most of those choices kind of happen regardless. But I guess it's just the way you tell Amar to do it kind of changes the outlook. I don't know. But yeah, th this is interesting. Looks like we'll get some new stuff here. Amar was rather nervous at first, surprisingly. They asked to see some of my own sample notes so they'd know how it was done. There you go. After that, they did quite well. I've reviewed their comparisons and they seem consistent with my own findings. The second task was a bit trickier, but I felt Amar was up to it, with a bit of supervision. I needed the samples exposed to various external influences, such as heat, cold, and electricity. With careful notes taken on the results, of course. Amar was on high alert, still a bit nervous, but I could tell they wouldn't be missing anything. There you go, Amar. I haven't reviewed their notes from those tests yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Amar was a big help. Thanks for making this happen, my friend. There we go. That's cool. No problem, Alethia. Glad things went smoothly. All right, let's save here then, because, yeah, that's that's good. And just teleport back to Alethia again, and we'll talk about Lutra now. But yeah, I, I'm wondering, I haven't, like, really connected Alethia and Lutra, but, again, I'm just really worried about... Like, Lutra is priority number one here, really. I'm just worried about Lutra not being... To, I don't know, I just want Lutra to stay at home and be a good kid and not do anything rash. And like, having Lutra, you know, pushing Lutra to be like, Oh, do you want to talk to Lethia yourself? Even though Lutra is like, I don't want to do it. But then you push Lutra and Lutra changes and is like, Okay, I'll try it. I'll try it even though it's scary. That feels like it's more the like... I mean, I guess it doesn't feel self-indulgent, but it just seems like it pushes Lutra more towards, like, wanting to get out there in the world, which causes the whole, uh, Kelp Forest thing to happen, which I don't think you can avoid, as I've said in the past, but I don't know, I kind of want to try doing that at least, keeping Lutra as boxed up as possible, but we'll see. Moss Cavern? Let me thank you for helping me understand Lutra better. And that's it. But yeah, like, I, I think I would get like meter or something, because like, oh, I'm glad you made Lutra talk to me. That would change things. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to hope that this is enough, because... Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Very unusual. This is all the same, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I never considered that. Is anything here different? As you know, Lutra is capable of tele telepathic communication. Okay, so she does know that now, even though, like, she didn't experience it herself. Okay, so that's the same, regardless of if you get... If you tell Alethia about Lutra, or if you tell Lutra to talk to Alethia, it's the same. Uh, that's exciting, whatever. I 
Actually, maybe maybe I shouldn't say exciting, because I kind of want, want Alethia to be... My god, I just can't keep these titles in my head. It'll take a while before I get them down. Mindful? Mindfulness. And the other one was uh, Obsession. I feel like saying it's exciting might actually be more of an obsessive answer for Alethia. So yeah, let's load for that. It's minor, but I'll have to try and do as much as I can to, like, get this happening with Alethia now. To not feed her obsession too much. Yeah, I never consider that. Yeah, it's a little scary. I don't know if that matters. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And that's it. Alright, and now Amar. We'll see, and here we go with Feeding Frenzy, even though I told Lutra to- oh. Yeah. Even though I told Lutra to not go out, it still doesn't actually matter. But there are new creatures in Moss Cavern, so we can do that, at least. Um. Yeah, I don't get to talk to Amar about the study party. Unless I were to load. Do you even get to do this after it's all done? Can I still talk to Amar? I wonder. I'll have my backups if I don't, because that would be kind of sucky. Uh, what are we going to do? Have you tried talking to Lutra? Let's see if he wants to talk. Alright, but then let's go over to uh, the Moss Cavern, and we'll probably just finish off with that today, just reading... Seeing all the differences here, because this should be different now. The stars are still here, and all of that stuff. So Lutra still gets out and starts eating the kelp, but Lutra is more mindful about conservation. So perhaps now I'll actually be able to just convince Lutra to, like, wait, and just like, no, we'll talk to Alethia. Stop eating, please. I don't know, that's going to be an interesting change, because, yeah, this is a complete different polarity than we know... Lutra. There's more stars now. It's more than I could have hoped for. Aren't they even prettier than ever? Absolutely. I love the new stars. They're not real stars, I don't believe you. Starlight, star bright. So yeah, we'll have to talk to everyone here. There's dark places out there, but don't be afraid. Just keep moving forward. There might be monsters, but be beautiful... This is the same, yeah? Beautiful things can grow in the dark. Yeah. Here's Frill. Snap and Frill. No matter where I go, I always feel so exposed. Yeah? And there's Snap. Someone there? I shared this burrow. Preferably someone with better eyes than me. There's a shrimp out there with a burrow you might like. They're looking for someone to keep watch in exchange for burrow space. This should be fine. They should be alive. They're alive! Perfect. That little fish you sent is the perfect roommate! Anything comes by, they let me know. If it's trouble, we hide. If it's food, I catch it. We share it. Works like a charm. There we go. Perfect roommate. Wonder if we're the first ones to come up with a team like this. It's going great so far. I'm good at watching out for things, and the burrow's just the right size. Thanks for helping. Hold it right. Oh, it's just you. Never mind. False alarm. Yeah, there you go. And these guys? Try not to get worked up anymore about who gets the credit for stuff. I just wanna... It's also good to know that you get these second lines, even though I didn't actually talk to them in the past, so I don't miss out on anything, so that's good. I just wanna make sure everyone's safe. Don't need them all to know who I am. Xander knows, though. He's a good one. And there we go. Unsung hero. There's that. Talk to hear from Subin about their new perspective on life. Someday, they're gonna know my name, even up top. 
No bad spills lately. We're doing a pretty good job avoiding them. Everyone's really happy, real happy about it. Everything's better when your body parts are getting along smoothly, eh? Hey, did you know Zubin saved us recently? We were about to get hit again, just like that one really bad time. But Zubin used all his strength to swing us out of the way. Must have been exhausting. I was impressed. I want everyone to know what Zubin does for us. Unfortunately, a lot of, of folks up top don't even know we have a bottom. Oh, I see. Yeah, Subin is great. Xander's been in a great mood. That always works out nicely for us. It's good for digestion. Too bad I can't create celebrate by eating something tasty. And Zoe, there's been so much food, more food, uh, visitors lately. It's really nice. Come on, don't you want to come closer? Come on, I swear you won't regret it. I'm good, thanks. And do these guys change? I thought they would all think I did it. I did it, that I was the murderer. But no one accused me. Oh. I still can't believe it. For once they trusted me. What? I'm in awe. What was that about? I can't even remember what the hell that thing was talking about. Can't see me. Nothing but a rock. And this guy is the same. He doesn't change. And that's it, right? I believe that's all of the creatures here. Yeah. And that is all of the, uh... The dialogue with all of the creatures. So now we just have three endings and diplomacy compromise. All right, I'm gonna end it off there. Like I mentioned, we'll have to see if we can even talk to Mar about the lab work after the feeding frenzy is all done. So I'll just keep going for now and say backups in case I need to load. And hopefully feeding frenzy next time is actually gonna be quite different. It should be with Lutra in a different polarity. We'll have to see. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!